Hello, I'm Simon Utley, the Headmaster of Blessed Hugh Farringdon. I want just to take you through what makes our school distinctive as a Catholic school. There are all sorts of schools and many schools would seem to offer the same thing. However, the nature of a Catholic school is something distinctive and something different. And it's important for anyone considering sending their child to a Catholic school that they understand maybe the extent to which uh, the school is different and the way in which the school works and how it's informed by uh, the values and the history that underpins it. We start in our school, as in many, with our mission statement. And our mission statement is a statement of who we are and also what we want. And it's very simple and yet at the same time quite profound. Our school mission begins with a Latin expression, nihil nisi deo, nothing without God. So this of course means that everything we do in school, including the fact that the school is here at all, is because of a belief system which is distinctive, which requires us to approach what we do in a particular way, and hopefully in a way that benefits the whole student community and the community of staff as well, whatever their background or their traditions. But as well as the Latin expression that puts our belief in God at the heart of everything, we also go on to say that we look for a lively faith, so that everyone, when they're reflecting on faith, in whichever way they do, or whatever level they do that, and whatever their conclusions, that this is a lively and life-giving process. Secondly, active minds. We don't believe that your child is defined by what they achieve in an exam room age 16 or age 18. We think they're rather more important than that. So active minds means every day. It means on the football pitch, in the netball, co netball court, in the dining room, in the history lesson, in the science exam. All of those things, not just one. And finally, the best place to learn and to work. And the thing about saying that is not because we think we're there or that we've arrived or that there's nothing to do. What this is, is a statement that says that while ever we are in charge of running this school, whatever we do as school leaders and as teachers and as support staff, we are always, always looking to improve what we do. We are always, always looking to give our students and our staff and our families a better experience. So that's our mission statement. Of course, with our students and indeed with ourselves as staff, this journey is going to depend on us developing a whole range of character um, traits, of qualities, that will allow us to make the progress that we need to make. None of these are about qualifications or tests or exams or certificates. These are the things that perhaps really matter. Character, what some people also call virtues. And on the screen there you can see some of the characters that we believe are central to success in this school. Hope, attentiveness, being faith-filled, compassionate, active, discerning, wise, grateful, curious, it doesn't say there, get a high income. Nothing wrong with getting a high income, but that's not on there. It's not a quality. That may be something that happens in the future. It doesn't say there, get a grade nine in maths. We hope that students do get a grade nine or a grade eight or whatever in maths. But this isn't about qualifications. This is about character. So we believe that to achieve what we want to achieve as a school, we need to provide your child with the best opportunity to develop these characteristics. And that goes for us as a staff as well. And in so doing, we aim to achieve a set of goals, which we call the BHF way, the Blessed Hugh Farrington way. We hope that people leaving school and going off into the next phase of their life will have belief. For many, it will be a belief in God, though not all, we acknowledge that, uh, certainly a belief in ourselves and also a belief in each other 
that we have people to rely on. Happiness, and that's more than simply short-term joy and excitement. To be happy in our work, in our play, in our goals, this is something surely that we look for whether we are 14 or 40 or 80. Family, so understanding that the family and school have worked together, that the family have supported the school and vice versa, and recognising as we leave school, as we move on, the importance of family, the importance of that unique community of people who love each other, hopefully unconditionally. The next thing is care, caring for ourselves. So important that we look after ourselves. Nothing wrong with that, nothing selfish about that. If we don't do that, we put ourselves and others at risk. Also care for each other and care for our world, which means being good stewards. And finally, service. This has to be one of the most important things that we foreground at Blessed Hugh. So service in leadership, in our career destinations, and also in having a generosity of spirit to step up to serve where necessary. And service goes right across the piece. Service in a way that could be understood very readily, perhaps providing care for someone else who needs care and support. Service as a lawyer, service as a member of the armed forces, service as a civil servant. Service really does span all sorts of different careers and that's why we think service is an important thing that we want our students to leave school with. The next thing is and the fourth thing is is so how do we want our school as an institution to feel? How do we want every decision that we make to be informed and driven? So what makes our school as an organisation distinctive? This is where we come to what's known as Catholic social teaching. And for this, what we believe and what we try and put into practice is that every one of our decisions made by governors, uh, made within school, puts at the foreground dignity, the common good, subsidiarity. That means making sure that we don't do more for people than we need to and in so doing that we stop people from growing and developing we need to help people to grow and develop solidarity that we pull together that we bring people together rather than creating factions stewardship we saw that before looking after what we have in our school but also being good neighbors in our community equality making sure that there are no artificial barriers to stop people thriving and if there are to dismantle those barriers and support for the poor and marginalised. This has always been an important central plank of Catholic education, that those people who find themselves poor and marginalised, and it doesn't just mean to do with their income, it could be to do with uh, them being bereaved, uh, it could be to do with short-term mental illness, it could be to do with anything that we look out for and we serve those people. So that's, that's the importance, very briefly, of Catholic social teaching, the way the whole institution needs to work. So all of this gives us this, which is in graphical form, the distinctive shape of Blessed Hugh Farringdon School. Now we can see Catholic social teaching permeating the environment, and then from the left, the mission statement, the character rich curriculum and co-curricular experience, and the goals, the Blessed Hugh Farringdon way, the goals that we want our, our students and indeed our staff, to uh, aspire to and to achieve as part of their time here at Blessed Hugh. So I hope that gives you a bit of an idea of just what we mean when we talk about Catholic school distinctiveness and just how integrated it is in every aspect of the school, right the way through from setting budgets, writing policies, all the way through to the things that you might think of more obviously as Catholic things like masses and prayer and liturgy. But it's everything. Not one, but both. <laughs>